we are going to be ruining my hair. So um, today I am going to attempt to cut my own hair. I want it in a short bob. Like I want to kind of get rid of all of this hair that I have completely destroyed. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, look how damaged this hair is. Like I can't, I really, I can't deal with this hair anymore. So I'm ready. Well, first of all, that hair is really dead. You can see it, it was bleached. It's a very nice color. It's a very nice color. It's that gray uh, color, ash gray color. It's really nice color, but you can see it. It's way past damaging. It's dead. I need to just cut it all off. Here we go, guys. <laughs> I was on Pinterest and I looked up some like tutorials. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie it in the back because I want it to be really blunt. So I'm just gonna tie it. <laughs> I don't have any um any scissors that I really think would be good for the hair, so I'm just gonna use uh, my husband's trimmers. Like, pray for me, please, everybody, like, pray for me. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay, I went and I got this dirty, obviously decorative mirror that I had in the house, and I like stuck it to the door. Here we go. There it goes. Oh, look at that hair. Oh my god. Let somebody else do it. Shit, this is not even doing anything to my hair. Okay. Oh my gosh, it cut off some hair. Oh, but I'm like, I have everything. Okay, I have another one of his things here. Gosh, this is a failing. Oh my god, it's a failing. Babe, your trimmer sucks. No, it's a good trimmer. It's the same trimmer that I use for in my salon. It's a wall. W A H L wall trimmer. It's a very good trimmer because now I'm transforming myself to a barber. I was years and years uh, a ladies hairdresser, uh, and I did some men in my salon. But now I'm transforming myself into a barber because I love barbering. It's because her hair is so damaged and so dead. You cannot. It's not hair anymore. It's like cotton, and then you cannot go through it. I did some hair cutting with trimmers. You can really set a bob line with a trimmer very nicely, very straight line. But then you have to take fine sections and every time you have to go with the trimmer or you cut it first and then afterwards you go with the trimmer and then you have a very straight line, very neat straight line. I, I really love it. But like this, first of all, it's not really nicely combed because she can't comb it anymore, it's dead. And then one, she has very thick hair, and one big ponytail, and then go straight through it, it's normal that the trimmer is not working. So, it's a very good trimmer, but it's because of your hair that it's, it's not working. This whole operation was just like, operation chop your hair off is a total fail because like, I can't even find any scissors. Like, these are the only scissors I can find, and this is terrible. These are kitty scissors. Like, they don't even have a tip. I have seen many things. Kitchen scissors, craft scissors. I never seen somebody cutting her hair with a children's scissor. But still, it's cutting. She's cutting it straight like this. So you have to cut it horizontally, not vertically. It will be all in layers. It will not be a straight line. Look at that hair. It's like a mop. Mama is scared. Yeah, so scared. hairdresser is scared too. I wanted a short thing. I'm scared. I'm gonna do it a little bit longer. Not so short, not so short. A little longer, a little longer. Longer, longer, longer. A little longer, just to be sure. Uh. I'm in. I'm all in now. Okay, I'm going to. Oh, it's so uneven. Let's see what it's looking like. I'm not mad at it so far, guys. <laughs> 
The length for her shape of her head is very good. It comes below the chin, so it's very good. Again, the color suits her very well, but it's because of chasing that color, her head is damaged in the first place. So it's one or the other, healthy hair or that color, but not combining the two. And it's uneven. Why is it uneven? Because you put it in a ponytail, you cut it just, I don't know if you can call it cutting. If you have short hair and you start coloring this color, every time you do only the regrowth, not the length, then it will be okay. But again, if you are that dark, you have to use very, very powerful product and you have to bleach it twice to get white. Again, I love this color, but it's killing your hair. Good attempt. It's okay that the dead ends are completely gone because that was not hair, that was a mop. I really love the look. I really do. It's really nice for her. So it's really dead, good color. Mm, difficult one. Be large, be large, be large. Look, I don't even know what I'm saying here, right? I feel like because I'm saying it wrong, I'm already... Balayage. Yeah, I just finished... Um, I was peeping at some... Peeping? It sounds like I was saying peen. But I was looking at some from the bottom. What's peepiness? Peepiness. English is not my mother language, but I don't know the word peepiness. Peepiness. Did I misunderstood? Do you... Put it in the comment what what peepiness is. Peepiness. Peep peep. I. Mm. And it seemed to really grab the blonde. So after this, I'm just gonna. Sorry, I was reading a message. But after this, I'm just going to. After I take off everything, brain fart. After I take off everything, I'm going to dye. The little leftovers like this, um, brown. Some parts are like this right here. I can see some parts like this are really like bright yellow, and I believe some are over here too. But um, some parts are like orangey. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so patchy. Like that, like some parts right here. Are like you didn't wave it. It's terrible. Hey guys, I wow. ended up going with a professional hairstylist and they ended up fixing my hair. I actually love it a lot. Saved okay. by the hairdresser. The way she packed the hair, it was really patchy. You have to wave it. You have to take fine sections. And in every video I was saying, don't do this by yourself. Ask for help. It's really difficult to do this by yourself. And then you have all patches and, and white sections and yellow sections. Nicely done by the hairdresser. Well done, well done. I'm going to be bleaching my eyebrows and dyeing them blue. It's not the same blue as in my hair, but it's one of the blues I have right now. It's Rockabilly blue. blue. Manic panic. Uh, take just a little tiny bit. I'm only putting this I never understand why people are coloring their eyebrows. So I, I really like hate a it. Finger full for both my eyebrows. That was like and it's dangerous. But, oh well. So I don't really think they lightened that much. Maybe they did. I it's like you don't have any eyebrows anymore. And I can't really tell, but they do look more golden. Like I'm gonna get my general shape but I'm not gonna be too overly concerned if I get it on my skin a little bit and then I'll probably leave it on for about an hour or so and then wash it off kind of just smooth it out first of all sometimes I say don't bleach your eyebrows on TikTok and then I get a comment why not because it's dangerous you have special products to color your eyebrows, uh, but most of the time it's just bleaching that they are using for the head. If that product goes into your eye, you have permanent damage. And also, 
you can have an allergic reaction and you can have really swollen eyes. I think in one of my last compilations there is a girl that is really allergic reaction on this coloring on her eyebrows or was it eyelashes? I don't know, uh, but it was ugly and you can have permanent damage. So that's why you cannot use bleach on your eyebrow. It's too close with your eyes. You have special products, safe products uh, for your uh, eyebrows, but then again, maybe it's me. Maybe, maybe it's me, I don't know. But bleaching your eyebrows, I don't think it's nice. Uh, yes, if you have dark eyebrows and blonde hair, hmm, that's not nice. But if you bleach your eyebrows, it will be orange, yellow, and it's really, really funny. Like she, it's like you don't have any eyebrows. So is that beautiful? No, no, sorry, sorry. I, I try to be nice, but I, I don't like bleached eyebrows and it's dangerous, so don't do it. It's been about 10 months or so. I had my eyebrows dry, I washed them out. And as you can see, there's basically no color, which is whatever. My hair has been like this for too long. Sorry about the mess. Uh, I mean, like every, I'm getting bored with it. I was thinking of either just shaving it off or doing something different. So I decided that I'm gonna curl it. No! If it's messed up, then I'll get it cut. <laughs> oh! Look at the back. He's watching a tutorial on YouTube, I think, about perming your hair, and he's sitting there and perming his hair. But it's a very bad idea because on the lengths and tips, it's bleached. So if you have bleached hair, you cannot perm your hair. Because if you bleach your hair, all the proteins, uh, all the moisture is outside your hair. It's a, like an empty tube. And if you do the perm on these lengths, it will break off. It will destroy your hair like in five minutes. On every packaging of perm box or perm product, it says, do not use on bleached hair or 50% bleached hair. So what does that mean? 50% bleached hair is like balayage or, or mesh or uh, highlights or whatever. More than 50% of your head. Take my word for it, if you have bleached hair, no perm. You know what's going to happen, you know it. Anyway, I don't want like crazy, crazy. <laughs> um, I'm sure everyone's gonna say it's fucked up, I didn't do it right. I have like different colors, different sizes everywhere because my hair here is, I don't know, it's really like, it's shorter because of my haircut, so. We'll see how it goes. Hey, I'm getting the phone stuff out, so check it out, guys. She said to, oh my god, it stinks. She says to put it between the hooking Okay, so I've um, rinsed it, rinsed the uh, solution out. It's I just ran it over the sink for about like three minutes in warm water. The neutralizer, I'm supposed to make it bubble or something. It's a little sponge. Oh. Maybe I put too much. Oh yeah, it's bubbling, look. I'm not supposed to like apply it around. Watch your eyes! Uh, you have to put some cotton. <gasps> Watch your eyes! Okay, I made a mistake. Basically, I just put the um, neutralizer in, so I just made it into little foamy stuff. And put it around where the hair is. Just everywhere, and I put this on because I was getting everything in my face. Oh my gosh, my hair looks so dry! Oh, I feel like my hair, hair is melting. <laughs> okay, so I just... It's like noodle soup! In my hair, and all I can say is, it's a big fuck up. Oh my god, I look like a matted poodle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Shave it! That's the only thing. I'm just gonna cut it off. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it off. Um, I might as well just go bald with what I did. So I just <laughs> my hair. It looks like a burnt, like, plastic. Or it's like when you have those really old Barbie dolls and you, like- It's dead. Um, That's the only word. Frizzy and stuff, so it's really disgusting. 
Since I fucked up my hair, I got a haircut. So short, I got my fade. I'm finally going to be doing my roots. It has been eight months since I have done anything to my hair. It's broken. Or too strong of product, or processing too long. That's broken off. That's hell. But stop pulling it. All right, so here's what happened. Oh, my hair burn off. Um, most of it. Stop pulling it! Is, it's basically all this stuff, these front pieces, I don't know. Okay, first of all, if something happens like that to you, stop pulling it, stop pulling it. Leave it alone, put some mask, deep treatments on it, and the bonds will restore. Of course, it's like a few days that you will have to continue with the deep treatments and the masks. Uh, not all is lost, but some of them will reconnect and will not fall out. But if you pull it, it's done. If you do the regrowth, there has to be no problem. Because that's hair that has never been bleached or colored before. But if you go with the bleach over the hair that is already bleached, then you will ask for troubles. That's the part that was going to break off. Only focus on the regrowth. Don't say, oh, it's easier that I bleach it, or there are some yellow pieces in my length, I will bleach it also uh, to have a very white color. Bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. I, I'm gonna do it. It's pretty long. It's very long. You can't fucking see there's no mirror. Oh, just, just like this. No, 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 no. No sections. Look at the length. Oh. oh my god. And then you go down. Is it literally dull after one use? Oh hell no! The sections is too big. I can't finish like one stroke of cutting because like. But it's it's not a one stroke. It's it half of your side. head. Yo, this is really bad. I don't know, young. Ah! You better stop! Stop! Oh. <laughs> stop! How's it look in the back? Great. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, it 1000% could be worse. Uh, that is not correct. I literally haven't even looked in. Uh, <laughs> is it so uneven? We are going to be ruining my hair by bleaching it and dying. In all seriousness, I hope we don't ruin it today, but we're going to see where this video goes. This is literally my favorite hair bleach. Let's just get this stuff going, okay? Let's get this ball on the roll. So I don't necessarily think I really explained this time around what I was using on my head, but I was using Quick Blue by L'Oreal Techniques, and I also used Dirty Developer. I need to go wipe this off of my ears. Why am I like this? Last time I left all the bleach and toner each time on my hair and I didn't realize it. Anytime I get out the shower and I would dry my hair, literally my ears would just start bleeding. No because they had burnt my skin no, thank you. and it would crack open and just no, thank you. but I will say that I had issues this time around with parting my hair for some reason it just didn't want to do what I wanted it to do so <laughs> we'll catch up with you whenever whenever I, I don't know just got out the shower this is what it looks like it is a little bit more oh It was oh already my. bleached and white. 
God. Okay. Why well, do it again? Why? To have more white? To have invisible hair? You know, yikes. Oh my. It just keeps coming off. Stop pulling it. Oh my. It literally just keeps coming off. I don't know if you can hear it. No, I don't want to hear it. Oh my gosh. Like I expected some fallout because there's always fallout when I do my hair. <laughs> I did not. Oh my god. I'm literally freaking right now. Uh, I'm going to have a mental breakdown and I am going to think about how we're going to go through toning tomorrow morning because I need to. This hair is a mess, but it's also falling out, so I love that. Well, let's say we have seen a lot of damaged hair and the lesson today was if your hair is white, don't bleach it again. Just do the regrowth. Always ask for help to do your regrowth because if you color it too far, breakage will happen. And if you're bleached, don't perm your hair. I hope that you learned from their mistakes and you will not make the same mistakes because I will love to have you have beautiful, shiny, healthy hair. So if you're happy with these tips and this compilation, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, and all I'm going to say is, ciao kus.